you know what I hate most about making a video? It's just the the intro. I mean, you never really know what to say. Um, you're trying to be different from other channels, and it just always feels like, you know, you open up a video, and it's just the same thing over and over again. Like, hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the channel, which is great. You're excited to see your, your viewers again, even though we really can't see you. You can see us, so you get what I'm trying to say. Um, so I think what I'm going to do from now on is just I'm going to quit all that just because I want to be different. I want to do something else. I want you guys to like not skip the intro. And um, yeah, if you guys catch me doing it again in my videos, man, just uh, just call me out, man. Call me out in the comments. Just let me know. Hey, cut that out. All right. So this video, we're going to be showing you how to put or protect the hole of your kayak. Like you see here, got a bunch of scratches right here on the kayak bunch of scratches all up over here and they're not deep scratches they're just like surface scratches but it's just something I don't want to see I don't want this to turn into a problem later on you know well that that doesn't look good at all but again they're not deep scratches they're just just like a cosmetic thing and eventually with enough scratches the deeper they get and I don't want any holes to get opened up in the in the hole of the kayak so what we ended up purchasing, if I can get all this out of my way here, you guys recognize that package, right? Kydex sheets, plastic sheets. So what's a Kydex sheet? It's a moldable plastic, right? That you can cut, uh, you can mold it to any shape that you want as long as you're, you know, you're applying heat to it. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to cut some of these strips out. And we're going to do our best to put it on the sections that are more exposed whenever, you know, whenever we go out or this kayak's like uh, bringing it out to shore or something like that. Um, I want to put it on those areas just to protect the hole a little bit more. So I'm going to walk you guys through the process and show you how you guys can do this. So while I'm grabbing the materials that I'm going to use to make my templates here first before we put it on the Kydex sheet, just know that everything I use here, I'm going to tell you guys what it is. I'm going to put all links and descriptions to everything in the comments below, or not the comments, but the uh, the description below. All those links, nothing is affiliate links, all right? This is just me showing you what I buy in case you guys want to do the same thing. You guys can get the same product. So let's go. All right, so you guys will have to excuse me because it's been pretty windy and it did start raining a little bit. But as you see here, these lines are pretty much the area that I'm cutting out on the template that I'm making. And I just made rough lines, all right, as to what the shape is going to look like. When I get back home, I'm going to get the ruler, clean up these lines. And then we'll get this on the actual Kydex sheets. All right, so back home now, what I did is I refined the lines of the template right here, made them as even as possible as I possibly could, as you see right there. And this one right here, make sure I marked it so I know which end goes where. Then I traced it onto the Kydex with a silver marker that I had right here. So I'm gonna cut this piece out with a pair of shears, just what I have available. My Dremel tool is not working. If not, I would definitely use the Dremel tool, which I do recommend in cutting that, but the shears will work just as good. All right, one thing I'm recommending is while the shears are working and they're cutting this pretty straight, um, what will help out if you are using the shears is if you guys have a box cutter or uh, in this case, I have uh, an X-Acto knife, just kind of trace the edge of the line right there. It'll definitely help in the shears cutting, but uh, this will definitely be much easier if I would have had a Dremel tool or um, you know, some sort of a uh, cutting tool or a grinder to just do that a lot quicker, but it does work. So let's keep going. All right, so as you can see, we already started putting the Kydex on the uh, on the kayak. Um, these seats were pretty easy to put on because they were flat, but as you see, they're already on here. I got this strip right here in the middle. If you can bring the camera over here and check it out. I got this strip right here in the middle and this one already there. All right, I still got this piece to go over here on this corner. And uh, so let me show you guys how to put the tape and how to adhere this to the kayak. All right, so first thing you want to do is you want to get the a little bit of sign, uh, 
sandpaper. Um, this is like a fine 320 is what I'm using. And just give it a quick sand, okay? Just to kind of even off any anything that might be popping out. All right, you don't need to go crazy and sand everything, but just, just to kind of smooth everything out. Yourself some alcohol on a rag. Right, and clean the surface area. If you're working in the sun like I am, this dries up pretty quick. And what this does, just gets rid of any any dust or anything else that might be laying on the hole itself. Well, another tip is when you guys cut these Kydex seats, it's got two different surfaces on there. It's got like a rough surface, if you can hear my, my nail scratching up against it here. And it's got a smooth surface, all right? What you want is the rough surface sticking up, okay? facing the bottom right here or the top whichever way you want to you want to do it so that way when you're running over every uh, anything if you're running over a rock uh, some clams oysters or whatever something that could cut into the actual plastic it'll just kind of slide off here you may see a couple scratches over time but it's not going to cut into it like it would the hole all right so here we're taking some double-sided tape I'm using the Gorilla Mountain tape the heavy-duty 3m has one there's a couple other brands but this is what was at my local hardware store and I picked it up. So we're just putting the tape on the smooth side, all right? Put a little on there. And then feel free to use a pair of scissors, a box cutter, whatever you got. But in my case, I have an X-Acto knife where I can just cut the shape. So if my hands are in the way, sorry, but just keep going side by side with the other strip that you guys have on there. Okay. All right, so you see here the backing, right? We have the full Kydex sheet with that Gorilla tape. Next thing is we're going to peel all the plastic backing off and put it on the kayak. So the scary part now is just making sure you put this to the exact shape that you uh, that you cut it out to because once this double-sided tape sticks on, it is a pain in the you-know-what to take it out. So just kind of make sure you're, see what I'm saying? You're putting it in the area where you want it at. Just about right there. There we go. press down okay. all right so this is the silicone that I'm going to be using to seal around the actual Kydex seat right here right this is from 3m it's a marine grade uh, silicone and it's not like the 5200 where it's permanent okay this one's actually removable all right there's the item number down there that 08019 all right I'll put a link to that down below but you can also uh, Loctite also has another version which you guys can use all right, so we're just squeezing the tube. It's a brand new tube, so you gotta you gotta prime it a little bit. There we go. All right, and just kind of seal it along the edge right there of the Kydex. All right, so once you get a good line going, you don't need to go all the way to the end. You can if you want to, but here's why. Take your finger and just kind of run it along the edge. And what it's gonna do is push the silicone inside those crevices on the inside. And you see how there's some on my finger there? So you can actually keep carrying that down the line until you get it all in there. All right, you guys, as you can see here, we're getting ready to mold the um, the Kydex right on the hole of the kayak, all right? We're just gonna form it to this uh, to this curve that it has right here in the front of the keel. Uh, suggested for you guys, get yourself a pair of gloves because we're gonna use a heat gun to melt the plastic and it's gonna get a little bit hot. So a pair of gloves will definitely help you out. All right, so hope you guys can see. Just kind of center the uh, Kydex wherever you want it. Take your heat gun and just start heating it up. 
eventually in a little bit you're gonna see that plastic soften up and you can start molding it to the uh, to the actual kayak itself slowly just start bending it towards the shape that you guys want right there so this is what we're gonna do I'm gonna start off with this right here bend that plastic all you want to do is just kind of hold it there just let it cool down a little bit just keep putting pressure on it up and down until it starts molding to what you guys want it to you see got the curves on there hope you guys can see that Then we just keep going. There you go, so you guys can see, I just have it molded to the kayak itself. All right. All I'm going to do right now is just kind of cool down a little bit, just let it harden up. We'll get the tape on there and then we'll do the other end of the keel. So I didn't think you guys needed to see the uh, the process of bending the kydex. I think you guys kind of get the idea by now. Just heat it up with a heat gun and just mold it to where you needed to. There you go. All right, there you have it, you guys. DIY keel protecting. Durable plastic. May not be pretty, but it doesn't need to be pretty for it to work. And that's what we're going for. Function over form, baby. You can see the ones in the back. Sorry, I just have it under the, uh, the tarp there, or the, uh, bed cover it worked out nicely all right next thing is just to get these flat pieces going but i'm not going to show you guys that in the video because it's all the same thing man just get these things cut get the two-sided tape on there marine silicone good to go all right so i'm not i know i'm not the first one to do this but i'm not going to be the last guy to uh look for information online on how to make these things so Hope I helped you guys out in some way to get this done. It's uh, way cheaper than buying those pre-made strips. 100% um, cheaper than buying those pre-made strips. So I'm going to have, again, all the materials uh, linked down below for you guys. No affiliate links. This is just the materials that I use to get this done. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.